Hi everyone, Pradeep here from TGT and welcome to another video. iOS 12.5.4 has been out for a few weeks now and I know many of you might already be using it. But if you have not heard about this update yet and you have an iPhone 5s, iPhone 6 or 6 plus, first gen iPad Air, iPad mini 2 or iPad mini 3 or iPad Touch 6 generation, you should update your device right now. This is my iPhone 6 which I always use to demonstrate these kind of videos to you guys. To find the update, go to settings, then go to general, then click software update and you should see your update available here. Now this was actually a very small update and the new build number is 16H50 as you can see. This was a security update where Apple patched a certificate issue that may cause some security concern to your device. Apple also absorbed one or two WebKit related issues here as well. Apart from that there were no other mentioned changes in Apple release notes of this update but of course there are something more which Apple never mentions. One of those is about the performance of the device. In some previous security updates like this such as iOS 12.5.2 or iOS 12.5.3, many of you complained about app crashes, unable to update issues, stability issues, etc. In fact, iOS 12.5.3 was not a good experience for many of you. So I made a separate troubleshooting video to help you guys the best I could. But I am happy to say that this update that is the iOS 12.5.4 is much better on those regards. In fact, I have seen comments that this update has made my iPhone 6 run smoother. So it's overall good experience again to use the old iPhone 6. So let's check some day-to-day -day apps and how the performance is overall. Let's try YouTube Studio first. As you can see, it takes a bit of time to load but it is okay for a device this old. Then let's try YouTube itself. It also takes a bit to load. But once loaded, it runs smooth without any hiccups. Let's go to my channel and play a video. This is working absolutely fine. Let's open App Store. And it opens a bit faster than the previous two. Now here is Instagram, it works fine enough as you can see. Let's try Twitter, Twitter takes a bit of time and it is not that smooth as you can see. Let's try Facebook, Facebook should take some time and there might be some lags at the beginning as this is a pretty heavy app. But once it loads, it works fine. Now Netflix. And it also works smooth enough. Payment apps like Google Pay also works but takes a bit time to load. Though I can't check for the transaction here right now but it should work fine. Now let's open Safari. It is fine as well. Let's try the multitasking now. As you can see some of the apps stays open and some of them reloads. Of course you should remember iPhone 6 has only 1 GB of RAM. So the overall app performance is satisfactory I should say with this update. The overall stability in settings menu is also good. As you can see here, you can browse through the menu pretty easily. The battery is of course average in today's standard, but it can be a very good backup device for you for a pretty cheap price. The overall network connectivity and Bluetooth works without any problem after this update. The lock unlock and fingerprint reader works absolutely fine as well. Now here are the Geekbench 5 scores for this device, it's 327 for single core and 614 for the multi core. So that's it for today's video, do watch my other iOS related videos as well in this channel, do write your thoughts about this update in the comment section below, do like, share and subscribe to TGT and I will see you in my next one, peace.